Hello and welcome to another Franchise Hockey Manager 6 stream. My name is Adam. I'm the Community Manager of Franchise Hockey. With me as always and not pictured on your screen is FHM Producer Jeff. Say hi, Jeff. Hey, everybody. And we are back with our Wild Thing 2023-2024 Minnesota Wild Series. Jeff, it's the playoffs. You have forced us somehow to play against the Canucks, who only finished three points less than us. Do we even stand a chance? And it's going to be a fun stream if you get knocked out in uh, four games. You're going to be filling for about 45 minutes, so it might be <laughs> hopefully a, you find a way around them. Well, it might be a very, very quiet quick stream too if that ends up happening uh just taking a quick look at the vancouver canucks roster you can see that they have uh nicely filled in their roster since we stole their top player and i still love that jet woo is yeah on that we've team. got Pedersen, so i mean they've still got ironically uh zach hyman is still, still on more that of that although he doesn't uh which is interesting Oh, yeah, he's hanging on there. Uh, and they've got Quinn Hughes, but Quinn Hughes, uh, I think we he was underrated at this point in the game because we started it so long ago. Yeah, so but he's not quite, although he had a pretty big season, uh, 61 points. Yeah, Matthias Ekholm ended up there for somehow. And yeah, there's, they got Ryan Nugent Hopkins, is who they guess who's probably there to fill in for Pedersen. Interesting all the way around. Groundland is somehow there. All right. Interesting. But uh, it should be a very tough yeah, test. That makes for sense us. for Nugent Hopkins. He's from Burnaby. Yeah. So, uh, first things first is we're going to go to our depth chart here and we're just going to call up a few guys. So, we're going to call up Wyatt Johnson to be a backup forward for us. We're going to call up Francisco Pinelli, who played yeah. well for us. Because why not? Tim, two, three, three, one in the Doesn't really hurt anything because Iowa got upset in the first round. They did. We were looking at it just before the stream began. Uh, very disappointing. They finished with 96 points on the season, which means they were even slightly better than us because the AHL only plays 76 games. But uh, that didn't work out too well for them in the end. Also saw a, one of our defensive prospects, Ruben Rafikin, was somehow suspended, which isn't great, but uh, we'll kind of move along with that. So we've brought up a few guys. Our roster is pretty much set as such. We're not really going to try and change anything. Taking a quick look at our lines here. Um, things have stayed pretty steady throughout. We have Ratu, McKinnon, Point on line one. Stutzel, who we got in the trade for Lafreniere, uh, Pedersen, and Mercer on line two. Boldy, Dean, Arnsby, a kind of a rookie line, but I've been playing well. Except for Boldy. Boldy's just been hurt so much. And then our fourth line is Ivan Lodina, Beckman, and uh, Riley Sutter, who played pretty well. I guess the question is, Jeff, do you see any tweaks we need to make? Or do you feel pretty confident in what we're doing so far? Um, nothing offhand. I like there's pretty good balance on every line. And we got some enough scoring on the third line. Uh, nothing really jumping out at me. Yeah, our power play mixes kind of everybody up a little bit, trying to give a couple of the rookies a little bit more time, including Arnsby who had a pretty good rookie year. Our last stream, we went over the points, so I'm not going to do that again. But uh, feel free to catch up on last week's stream. And overall, I feel pretty good. Our tactics, we've kept pretty similar. We're a little bit more aggressive on attacking and on shooting just because of who we have. But our breakout where you're going through center and we have activated D because we have so many defensemen who can push the puck and try and score goals. Um, other than that, we, we use sl slot overload in the offensive zone. Four check is one, two, one neutral zone or sorry. One, two, two, not one, two, one neutral zone is one, two, two retreat. 
in defensive zone is half ice overload uh, because we try and, you know, force teams to the outside. Uh, overall, it's worked pretty good. I mean, we had 44 wins. We did get into a bit of a slide near the end of the year if we just look at our uh, schedule here. Let's change the view off the calendar. And you can see yeah, three the, losses to close the season. Yeah, so that wasn't great. We did have a win by two other losses, but yeah, it was fairly inconsistent this season is probably the best way to describe it. Hi, Gudu. Thanks for coming out. Um, quite a few wins in a row and then a few losses in a row. So honestly, I have no idea how this playoff series is going to go or how the playoffs could go either i mean we could be out of this in four straight games hopefully that's not the case but uh well let's let's find out so we have a couple days to till we get started and uh i don't know i i'm cautiously optimistic is that good words to use jeff Uh, I think, I mean, it's, it's the first, we should be able to beat them. They're on paper. We're better. Although we did lose that, uh, five, four game at home against them three games ago. All right. So we're here at the first game and we're looking, everybody's at a hundred percent. It's a great way to be. Do you want to play out this first game or do you just want to sim it and get past the scary things? could begin better play them out uh, just in case we get uh, <laughs> knocked out quick oh man jeff you're you're tempting fate it's never really worked for us but all right we'll give it a shot uh so we're just going to have the play-by-play -play speed on normal clock speed is going to be very fast and all we're going to do is watch goals <laughs> little green f f 5 1300 and the chat says do what the stars couldn't do until moving to Dallas and bring home that cup to Minnesota Ooh. all right so we're just going to play through this game here and we're giving up shots uh you got Parsons in goal he's the hot goalie why would he not be in goal oh no that's right I see yeah, that's it. No, sorry, I was thinking he was still the backup. No, that's no, fine. No, he, he's definitely not the backup anymore. Uh, end of the first period, no scoring, and we were down two shots to none, but we have taken a 7-4 lead. Pretty low scoring first period. Five minutes through the second, still no scoring. And something happens. And Vancouver scores their first goal. Bo Horvat takes a 1-0 lead. Rough. And the fourth line comes, starts banging away. But then our top guys get in there. Oh, man. Back and forth, back and forth. And Patterson buries it. Assisted by Cal McCarr who was a more recent pickup for us. And it's tied 1-1. One, one. End of the second, we're leading shots 20-19, to 19, but the score is tied 1-1. One, one. Shots are back and forth. Yeah. 
And there's a goal. Pedersen buries his second of the game, and we take a 2-1 lead with just over 10 nice. minutes left in the game. Pedersen killing the Canucks. And the top line comes through. Nate McKinnon buries one with just over, just under six minutes left. And it's 3-1 Minnesota. But, oh. Pedersen stealing the puck. And Pedersen scores the hat trick. Oh, he came to play. He came to play. And Nugent Hopkins gets in on a breakaway and scores, unfortunately, to make it 4-2. Under four minutes left. But time has run out. And the Vancouver Canucks drop game one. And we win. We win. Which is also not good because their goalie just heated up more. Ugh. He's up to five fires. Oh, that's not good. But Elias Pedersen. Yeah, we put a lot of shots on him. Yeah. Surprised that that many goals though still. Three goals for Pedersen. Makar with two assists. 38 shots to 27 for them. They out hit us, but we did just about everything else right. Four unanswered goals. Taking a look at the stats, and boy, Roman Yossi, 100 defensive game rating. Beautiful. Which need to make up for Atu Ratu and Stutzel both being at 43 defensive game rating and 45 respectively. Adam Beckman, 48 defensive game rating. That's not great from our fourth line. But Pedersen, look at that. 90 offensive game rating with a 60 defensive game rating. That might be his best game he's ever played for us. Love it. And we managed to take a 1-0 lead. So, game two versus Vancouver. All right. Everybody still mostly have healthy. Atu Ratu is only at 98% fitness, but I think that's probably fine. John Gillies, five fires. Ooh, it's going to be tough, but we'll see how it goes. Tyler Parsons needs to continue to stand on his head for us. And let's begin game two. Uh-oh, Vancouver's out for the first four shots on the ice before we finally get one. But the good news is we score on our second shot. Atu, Ratu. Assisted by Nate McKinnon and Roman Yossi. We jump out to a one nothing lead just under four minutes into the game. Nice. And then Arnsby gets called for a penalty. Luckily, we were able to kill it off. P. Wog says, go wings in the chat. Apparently, he wants them to go back to back. Oh, no. 20 seconds left. Which is going to be difficult because they didn't make the playoffs. Uh, they did. They missed. Oh, sorry. Sorry, P. Wog. Uh, and Vancouver scores to tie it. Gedovich, not sure on that name. Uh, we're getting out shot 16 to 11, but Gedovich. scores 1 1. Yes. Did I say that right? I'm not, I'm not sure. And we pin the puck down in their zone. Continuing, trying to score. Makar just firing shots from the point. But Eric, Elias Patterson comes through again, assisted by Makar. 2-1 lead with just over 10 minutes left in the second period. But we were getting badly outshot at the moment. Ooh, Vancouver takes a penalty. 
Can we capitalize? We can't. But Zach Dean scores. Assist by Liam's Armsby. Good job. Boys, 3-1 lead as we approach the end of the second period. But Jake Gardner goes to the box. But we kill it off. It is 3-1 at the end of two. Shots are now 30 for Vancouver to 28 for us. Continuing on. Pwog, I banned you from the chat last week for that. I will ban you again if you make me. Oh, no. Braden Point gets abdominal soreness as a minor injury. Probably can still play. Oh, he's still in the game. He's still in, but Vancouver gets a breakaway again, and Bo Horvat scores. We're giving up breakaways? Oh, man. Shots are 41 to 32, but we're holding the lead. Six minutes left. Four minutes left. Two minutes left. Eight seconds left. Braden Point, despite being hurt, scores an empty netter with eight seconds to ice it. 4-2. And we run away from our home arena with a 2-0 series lead. Whew. Pretty good start. Maybe have a look at the other series and see what's going on there. Yeah, just taking a quick peek here. 39 defensive game rating for Atu Radtu. That is brutal. Guys in the 40s, but yeah, 39. Ugh. He did score, though. He did, but... Oof. Braden Point is listed as day-to-day, -day, but he can play through it, so he's going to play through it. Uh, we can see already that lots of series are 2-0, but we'll take a quick look at the playoff tree instead, and we can see Chicago and Anaheim are tied 1-1. LA's up 2-0 on Edmonton. St. Louis and Dallas are tied 1-1 in the West. In the East, Toronto and New Jersey are tied 1-1. Rangers are up 2-0 on Washington. And the Ottawa Senators are up 2-0 on Buffalo. And Tampa Bay and Florida which is, should be a great series, is tied 1-1. Ottawa, by 2024, has a pretty solid team, just taking a quick look at them. You can see most of their guys have taken their time, but are starting to show up now. Matt Sokagard and David Hrenick. Not sure how, Hrenick? Not sure how you say that name. In net. Noah Delmont, yeah. Thomas Shabbat, Eric Branstrom, Aaron Ekblad ended up in Ottawa. Darren Dietz. Alex Galchenyuk apparently is their captain, which is probably the biggest surprise of that team. Uh, Brady Kachuk. Cedric Paquette ended up in Ottawa. White, Brown, Pinto, Anthony Duclair is still there. Holtz, Glendening, Roslevic ended up in Ottawa, of all places. Drake Batherson still can hardly get into the league. He put up 19 points in 30 games, but he can't crack their lineup. Pretty deep Ottawa team. Uh... Pewog says, not update. When will the next season start, NHL? Uh, I. What did I just read? There was. Uh, Sounds like January 1st now. I. You know what? I heard even later, though. I, I think it was. Um, they're targeting January 1st, but I saw that there was a. Was it Bill Foley, I think, was talking about it on his radio station? He apparently mentioned also the Canadian division, which hasn't officially been announced, but that's um, something that's been rumored of, of all the yeah, Canadian I saw teams that too. playing that's, it. So I, it sounds like that's what they're going to do. Yeah. But he talked about how it's important for Vegas. The to, WHL is starting up uh, in 
in mid January, yeah, uh, and the they're gonna just play inter division only, uh, or intra division only. So yeah, the uh, BC teams will only play against each other. The American teams only against each other. So the NHL might do something like that. Yeah, but Bill Foley, I think, was talked, or there was that, or Elliot Freeman's thirty one thoughts talked about their possibility it being only a forty eight or fifty six game schedule starting in February. I saw it too. So that's something that's probably not out of the realm of possibility now. Uh, because he also talked about that he needed the viability to be about 40% capacity in the arena to make the season work, which I'm sure kind of a lot of owners are thinking the same thing. All right, apparently I have uh, a rink installed for Vancouver here, so uh, Nate McKinnon scores on his first shot of the game 20 seconds in, and we're up one nothing. which is I have a rink mod installed for Vancouver. I didn't realize I had one. And Pedersen scores a minute and a half later. It's 2 nothing us already. Sweet. But that's why the rink looks different. Uh, this is from a mod you can find available on our forums, which is OOTP. OOTPdevelopments.com Click on the community button in the top right hand corner And that'll bring you to official forums where you can go to the FHM mod section and find such as this rink mod We are pouring on as much pressure as we can And our third line comes through. Zach Dean, assisted by Jake Gardner and Matthew Boldy, makes it 3 0, just under nine minutes left in the first period. And Roman Yossi scores. 4-0. Three minutes left. I don't wonder if they're going to pull uh, Gillies at some point. End of the first period. We're up 4-0. Shots are 16 Two while asking in chat, is, is OTB Developments uh, getting close to a Twitch partnership? Uh, didn't we get one already? I, I mean, we, were we, we didn't qualify. We haven't applied for anything. That's what you're asking. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, man. Nate McKinnon scores again. Steals the puck from Gillies. It is 5 0, three and a half minutes into the second period. And they still have not pulled Gillies yet. Kind of an embarrassing for six. Vancouver at home. End of the second period, five nothing shots are 32 27 for us. And Vancouver breaks the shutout. Ryan Nugent Hopkins scores on a one timer. But we hold the commanding 5-1 lead under 10 minutes left. And the first line's dominating the play again. And Atu Ratu scores to make it 6-1. Nate McKinnon grabs an assist as well as Roman Yossi. Five minutes left. And this game is over. 6-1 beatdown of the Canucks. Only one blemish. Getting close to the sweep here. Why would you say that, Jeff? Trying to curse us? Are you trying to curse us? That's terrible. <laughs> 
All numbers are better, except for Matt Dumba, only 48 defensive game rating. Not great for a defenseman. And Riley Sutter, 44 defensive game rating. Otherwise, everything looks pretty good. Best game from Atu Ratu, 67 game rating, 68 offense, 68 defense. All right. Oh, what happened there? Oh, Ottawa beats a Buffalo 8-1. So apparently it can get worse for another team. All right. Oh, Braden points down to 62%. Well, we're going to push him through for this game. We'll see how it goes. John Gillies is down to... Oh, no, he's still at five fires. Tyler Parsons is at a 9.55 save percentage. Let's play this game out again. And we immediately control the play. And 20 seconds in, Atu Ratu scores, assisted by Braden Point, one nothing us. Fast start. Yeah. Point didn't look tired there. Not at all. Matt Dumba has a sore ankle, apparently. Atu Ratu scores his second goal of the game. Assisted by McKinnon and Gardner, it's 2-0 with just over four minutes left in the first. We completely dominate play. It's 2 nothing. Shots are 12 to 2 at the end of 1. <whistles> Makar scores assisted by McKinnon and point 3 nothing. Just over three and a half minutes into the second period. Vancouver is down for the count. Halfway through the period, shots are 17-5 and continuing. But Vancouver breaks again the shutout. 8.53 left in the second. It is now 3-1. Shots are 19-6. All right, end of period two. We have held Vancouver to only eight shots on net, put up 24 ourselves, score it is three to one. Last period for Vancouver if they can't pull it off. Nate McKinnon takes a penalty, but we kill it off. Twelve minutes left. Ten minutes left. Eight minutes left. Six, five, four, three. Two, one, and it's over. We sweep the Canucks, holding them to only 14 I shots. That's the on first sweep net. we've had in this game, isn't it? It is absolutely. This is the first time we've made the playoffs, I think. Or did we make the playoffs last year? I don't think we did. This is the first time we made the playoffs. Four nothing. Um. Win. Only 14 shots, 37 for us. Didn't out hit them. Oh, no, we didn't. I thought we did. No, it's, again, Matt Dumba, 43 defensive game rating. Not great. Riley Sutter, not great numbers, but he only played 815, so that's okay. But we get it done. Dumba is hurt. Maybe we take Dumba out and put in Lassie Thompson and see if he does a better job. Thoughts? Uh, how bad is Dumba hurt? He's got a sore ankle. He's just hurt for a few days. 
Jeff, there's a question in the chat for you. Any FHM seven info you can casually spill in this stream, Jeff? Ah, oh, jeez, get myself in trouble again. <laughs> who got? You said you were in trouble. Uh, no, nobody said you were in trouble. Anything? That's we're we're busy. Or we're, 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 um, I think I think we had probably testing. Some... Uh, still, you know, testing is still going along well. I'm um, good. I said I think we have the highest viewership of our YouTube video. Where people were scanning the video to try and f find out what you said. We missed the stream. <laughs> but no nothing nothing's coming to mind oh we got to save some stuff though gudu no just busy with testing everything's coming along pretty well okay braden point is back 100 percent healthy so that's good And we have three series going so to... So do we get St. Louis or Dallas in the second round? Still waiting to find out. Still waiting. Matt Dumba's close to returning. And there we go. LA Kings beat Edmonton 4-3. Toronto beats New Jersey 4-3. Darn. And we get Dallas in round two. So let's take a quick look at that. So Anaheim's playing LA. We're Are the playing Leafs the only Canadian Dallas. team left? No, Ottawa is playing Tampa Bay. Ottawa swept Buffalo. So Toronto versus Rangers, Ottawa versus Tampa. All right. Jeff, I don't think we've talked to you since the latest free agent signings. We saw Taylor Hall join Buffalo. On a scale of 1 to 10, how surprised were you by that announcement? Uh, not really. I mean, it'll be more surprising if he doesn't uh, crash and burn like every other free agent that signs in Buffalo does. Well, I'm just going to talk as the game starts here. You know, he's going to a coach he's played for before in Ralph Kruger, who he really liked. And I think that was part of the reason he went there, too. Yep. And we can't clean up the mess in front of the net, and it's one nothing Dallas, unfortunately. Uh, just over eight minutes into the game. But Jake Gardner scores to tie it up. Just under five minutes left in the first period. Shots are very even so far. End of one, uh, shots are 17-10 Dallas, but the score is 1-1. Apparently they dominated that last bit. Oh, we're not scoring on our power plays. That's not a good thing. Well, that's got to start changing soon. But Braden Point, now back healthy, scores to make it 2-1 with just over 10 minutes left in the second period. We're getting out shot 25-14, though. That's somewhat a cause for concern. Yeah, particularly when they've got Bennington in goal. Yeah. And at the end of two, it's 2-1. Two Shots are 30-20. to 20. But Cal McCarr scores and makes it 3-1. Less than a minute in. And... 
finish the game with a 3-1 win. We get outshot 38 to 31, but we score more goals, and that's all that's important. They score first, but we score three more. All even strength goals. Good defensive performances from Yossi. So Shaka. after that three-game losing streak at the end of the season, we're up to five in a row. Why, why are you trying to curse us, Jeff? Braden points, 70 defensive game rating, 85 offensive game rating. I heard that snicker, just because you know it's true. Toronto leads, Ottawa leads, and Anaheim leads. Dun, dun, dun. Development report. It says we have everybody going up, so taking a quick look. Wait, 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 wait a second. Why do we have a two star? Ridley Grieg. Keeps improving. That's good. Wonder how many first rounders we did end up drafting if we went all the way back through. Eric Sorensen. This guy's not exactly great. What oh he's a fifth round pick. Okay. That's okay then. If he's only two stars and a fifth round pick. A little worried there for a minute. I guess as we continue to talk about uh, free agency, I was trying to think, was there any other big signings? There's still some guys left to sign. How do you feel about the Canucks turnover, Jeff? Uh, well, not too bad. I mean, Markstrom for Hope, he's pretty close. And then losing Tanev, but then getting Schmidt for only a third rounder, that's an upgrade. And yeah. it helps us in an area we need a little more offense from the defensemen, so... Yeah, that Schmidt Schmidt ad for a third round, it was pretty pretty good. I was a little bit disappointed when Winnipeg didn't get him when they were talking about that. But I'm not looking forward to giving or trading away Jack Rosovic, but if he kinda wants a fresh start, I don't blame him for that either. Because he is kind of buried on the Winnipeg depth chart. And we're gonna start game five here. And oh no, Roman Yossi had it, but he let it go. And once again, Dallas is controlling the puck. And we score. Riley Sutter finally buries one. Good job, Sutter. Fourth line comes through. This is by Cal McCarr. Tenseness. We've kept the shops close already, but oh man. Roman Yossi's going back and forth with the Ehlers. Oh, this is just getting hard, but Daniel Shaka comes through. Oh man, he has been paying off dividends. It's 2 nothing. 
Shots are tied 9 9. Eight minutes left. Five minutes left. Third line comes through for us. Matthew Boldy scores, assisted by Earnsby and Dean. And a one, three, nothing. Shots are 15, 12 us. Jeff, I really want to hit Sim End. I'm really tempted to hit Sim End. <laughs> and it'll wind up 4-3 if you do. I know. But I, I would, if we do win this one, you may want to sim a couple just to... Because it looks like we're going to be going farther in. We'll just be playing them out and have a second uh, playoff stream. And there's a 4 nothing goal. We have... Uh at two rat two scores. Boldy scores. Okay, I'm gonna send passes. It's now five nothing. We're swimming to the end of the game. And the game ends five two. They outshoot us thirty six to thirty. Tyler yeah, Parsons get is up to out, but Parsons is up to five heats now. And we are looking a little Out dangerous. Outplaying Binnington, that's a surprise. A little dangerous. Piwa Gas in the chat, what are your views on Red Wings free agent frenzy? I'll give mine, but Jeff, you can go first. No, go ahead. Well, my view and... Uh, is lots of low risk, high reward type moves with guys who are there to be filler pieces that keep them more competitive, but not going to take roster spots from young guys coming. So, I mean, I like Bobby Ryan on a one year deal, uh, Nemestikov on a two year deal, and uh, uh, Sam Gagne, not my favorite guy, but you know, he signed a one year deal for next to nothing. At worst, all like all three of those guys could easily be traded for you know a fourth round pick too by the next trade deadline. Yeah, I can't sim this game out. So oh, we're gone, yeah. I mean, flip a coin. He'll be he'll either have a good season or he'll be. Yep. Yeah. yeah, there's either have a good season or he'll be in the NHL. There's no downside to it. Okay, so we're up one nothing. Earns B scored. I, I actually, a friend sent me a message about something else, and I was looking at my phone. I'm sad to say, so I actually skipped through that because I didn't realize it was a goal. Yeah, but we're out shooting Dallas now. It's shots fifteen to seven, one nothing at the end of one. Moving on to period two. Dawson Mercer finally gets a, on the board with his second or first goal of the playoffs, I think. I don't think he scored yet. And it's 2 0. Shots are 19 to 9. P Wog in the chat says about the wings. He thinks it's a start. Again, you're looking for guys who can help you play, but guys who aren't going to take jobs. And, and I think that's exactly what Eiserman did. Uh, adding Thomas Grice in net was a big good ad for them. Maybe a little bit more money than what you wanted to pay. Three nothing. But overall, kind of pretty straightforward. Okay, we're gonna stop right here. We're gonna sim to the end of this game. We're up three nothing, and ooh, we win four two. Ooh, that's a little more dicey than I wanted it to be. We hold them to twenty eight shots. We're putting up thirty nine. 
Seven wins in a row. Doesn't matter how you do it. Just get her done. And all right, the world championship starts today. Game four versus Dallas. And we have moved Bennington to cold. So let's see what happens. Atu Ratu gets a delay of game. But Parsons lets in the first goal and we're down one nothing. Back and forth, back and forth, back. Stutzel on the breakaway ties it up. 1-1, one, one. shots are 7-7 seven, seven with six and a half minutes left in the first. End of period one, we're up, shot, up on shots, 14-8, scores 1-1. One, one. Ooh, they got on a big shot streak. We could not keep them out. Oh, man, now it's shots are 19-17. Seven minutes left, but... Ratu's holding them tight. Point. McKinnon. Arnsby's out there. Arnsby scores! 2-1. Five minutes left. Dutzel's all over the place trying to grab the puck. McCarr. Point. McKinnon. Ratu. McKinnon. McCarr. Ratu. Ratu. McKinnon. Boldy. Dean. Dean scores. Third line comes through again. 3 1. Whew. They've had a good couple of games. Yes, so it is 3-1. We're out getting outshot 26 to 24. Only one period left. I can't sim it through, or should I? Uh, let's sim it end. And we win 5-3. It's over. It's all over. Matthew Bowles sweeps in a row. Picks up three assists. Joel Edmondson for Dallas has one assist. Has the number two star. Zach Dean has one goal. Tim Stutzel. Arnsby has two. Zach Dean has three. Mercer's got two. Colton Perenko adds the fifth goal. Just to make sure they don't come back. And for the second straight series, we pick our games up in games three and four. And that lets us sweep. We were one of two sweeps there. I believe I just saw Anaheim was done on theirs. Ottawa beats Tampa Bay. Toronto is up 3-2 on the Rangers. Toronto wins 4-2. So we have... Ooh, this is very interesting. Minnesota and Anaheim in the Western Conference Final and Toronto and Ottawa in the Eastern Conference Final. 
things you don't expect. All right, we can't make any changes in our lineup right now. So we're just going to continue. Immediately getting out shot. Colton Perenko goes to the box, but we kill it off. Shots are 10 to 1. Ouch. This is not looking promising. And Jordan Martinook scores. It's 1 0. We've outshot 12 to 1. And they continue to pour it on. Andre Kess scores 2 0. Shot 13 to 1. That is not good. But we start pushing the pressure back and, 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 Stutzel, Mercer, Mercer, Beckman, Beckman, Sutter, Sutter scores! 2-1. Now, <clears throat> shots are now 14 to seven. Three minutes, just over three minutes left. Apparently that's what we needed. Pedersen on the breakaway, scores! 2-2, Two -two. shots are now 15 to eight for them, but more it up. Up. it's tied up. End of the first period, shots are 16 to 10 for Anaheim, but we've tied it up 2-2 Two -two and we're on the power play to start the second period. Power play over, we didn't score. But we got closer in shots. But Matthew Boldy comes in on a tip on Roman Yossi's shot to put us up 3-2 now with just under four minutes into the period. And now we have taken a stranglehold as we've been pouring the shots on. It's now 25-17 us for shots. Two minutes left. End of the second period, and we've taken a 3-2 lead, and we're leading in shots 25-22. to 22. Back and forth game. Controlling a little bit. Nine minutes left. Seven minutes. Six, five, four, three, two, one and that's all she wrote we hold on to a 3-2 victory we outshoot anaheim by the end of 38 to 28 nine in a row now despite being down two nothing we come back we actually out hit them and we got got them in the penalty box more than us which was the big deal Not a strong game from Jake Gardner, 48 offensive game rating, 58 defensive game rating. But we had some key guys come through at the right time. Ottawa takes a 1-0 series lead in their game as well. Their series as well. All right, game two versus Anaheim. I kind of want to just sim this one through. Should I sim the whole thing, Jeff? Uh, I mean, maybe you just stop at this point because you would have enough time next time to do the finals, assuming we get there. All right, well, we're playing through this game at the moment because you said that too late. We're almost to an hour. We are almost to an hour. 
and Jeff's anxious to get back to work because he doesn't sleep anymore. First period is over pretty quick, though. Shots are 13 to 8 for them, but the score is 0 0. Penalties back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Ten minutes through, we're getting a shot 17 to 10, but the score is still 0 0. And then we see something going on. Nate McKinnon comes through the league, but point. Shoots high. Have to start over again. And oh no, Andre Cass with the breakaway. It is one nothing, and I'm. Oh, we're controlling the puck, and then we give it up. Uh -huh. Rough. Troy Terry put makes him up two nothing with only 48 seconds left in the second. And we quickly jump into the third. I'm not very optimistic at the moment. Our team's really going to have to. This looks like it's going to be our first loss. We're not generating enough pressure. Dawson Mercer then takes a roughing penalty with four minutes left, so that pretty much seals the deal. And we cannot... Oh. So close, but instead we give up an empty netter. And we lose the game 3-0. Our first loss of the playoffs. How disappointing. So the series is tied up 1 1. Well, Ottawa yeah, takes it. That happens sometimes. So I guess we're going to pause here, and Jeff is going to force everyone to wait for two weeks to know if we actually can win a Stanley Cup or not. So. Thank you very much for tuning in to another Franchise Hockey Manager stream. We typically stream every Wednesday night at 10 p.m. Eastern on twitch.tv slash OOTP Developments. All of our streams are archived on our YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash OOTP Developments as well. You can also reach out to us on our Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash Franchise Hockey Manager. On Twitter, we're at Franchise Hockey, where you can also find a link to our official Discord in our Twitter bio. Or you can come on down to our official website, which we've already mentioned once before, which is ootpdevelopments.com. Click on the community button in the top right-hand corner, which will bring you to our official forums where you can talk about out-of-the-park baseball, FHM, Perfect Team, or anything else you wish to discuss. Jeff, did I miss anything? No, I think we covered pretty much everything there. All right. We will be back again next week with the sensational 70s Vancouver Canucks as they try not to just completely blow everything in 1972. That sound about right? App description? Jeff? Ah, Jeff's gone. Apparently. Maybe. All right, so thank you very much, and we will see you all again next week.